What's up guys and what is going on with all of you? My name is Splattercat and things are going pretty well on my end. I just finished my first like exam cycle in college and so I've got my first free weekend that I've had for the last two weekends or so. Feeling really optimistic about the future, saved by a grading curve which was just like crazy like the average score on our exam was like a 50% and so the curve just like saved my life. It was one of those classes. If you've been in the collegiate system, you know sometimes you just get wrangled by teachers that don't teach. They just give you a book and they're like, have fun, and wander off into the sunset. That's exactly the sort of class that I'm engaged in right now. And to make matters worse, it is a mathematics class, and teaching that way in a mathematics class is deeply disturbing. I'm gonna go off this way before we go off to the cave over there. Hopefully there's no like storyline this way. I'm trying to, I'm hedging my bets which way is the proper way. I see a treasure chest. And some skellies and some rippers or reapers. I'm, I apologize. Reaping and ripping are two completely different things. Skeletons in armor, a little archer right there, a mage in the back zores. Okay. Let me figure out how I want everybody to be arranged here. I suppose I'll make a run on the ripper for now. I'll step as many people kind of forward as I can. And there goes that first little AoE attack thing that sh those little dudes do. And I'd like everybody to be on that Reaper for now. I am going to release the AoEs. After everybody settles, because I'm not positive everybody's where I want them to be. He's casting at Naka, so I'm not going to tie her to the ground just yet. Ooh, that was so much damage. Really, really impressed. We might consider throwing out the Death Wish, throwing out Damocles' Curse on that Reaper. And move Naka, move Nella. And then as soon as they're out of the way, there's a little bit more damage which has wiped out the entire crowd. Very cool. Let's get everybody out of the way of some of these attacks and let's get on this mage. I, some reason these mages in the back just drive me nuts. It could be the massive amounts of damage that they do, or it could be the fact that I'm just really bad at dodging, which you saw right there. Then again, they double cast every now and again too, and sometimes I don't know when they're about to double cast. I saw it in their skill list. They double cast after they do something. After they partake in some activity, they double cast. Throw a little bit of damage out there. Down he goes. In the interest of expediency, I'm trying to wipe these guys out with reckless abandon. Come on. You might as well just die now, pal. You don't even have a name. You don't even have a name. You're gonna die either way. The polarized amulet, the relic of the prophet, the earring of the incarnate, and an earring of prestige, I think that said. I read it as I was clicking it and then just kind of took my eye off of it for a moment. Let's look at our inventory and see what we can swap out here. So for Naka, she's got a lot of physical armor. It's going to increase magic damage, not very useful for her, an HP boost. I'm kind of interested in what do is dodge like the percentage chance that you'll just be like, whoop, you missed me. I think it is, which raises an interesting point that we might be able to build some kind of dodge tank, which would be sort of cool. The Ring of the Incarnate, what does that do? Increases physical damage like crazy, and then also increases healing done. If only that said healing received. Not a lot of downsides there, though, for our character, so I'm going to put it on her. Necklaces, bunch of, actually, earrings. Never mind, these aren't, that's the wrong accessory for the wrong spot. What are you doing, Splattercat? Another healing earring. And it looks like we got physical armor, magic armor, and a little bit of a damage boost right there, so if it can't overtake those bonuses, not really going to be worth it for me to throw it out there. Ten and a little bit of physical damage and some resist magic. I think that's kind of deflecting the point. Let me throw away some of this white gear. Because we're obviously not going to use that in most cases. That's all blue. Very nice. Okay, there's another ring. And all of our necklaces are of peak condition. Let's see if there's anything we can swap out here. She's almost completely equipped with epics, which is pretty nice. I never complain about all purple up in the slot. She's got an amulet of the wind, which is going to give magical armor and crit chance. Neither of these is for her, though, because they both give physical damage and kind of physical attributes that would be really useful to somebody that's going to be in melee a lot. Rings being swapped out. She's got a really good ring in, so I don't think that's going to be too much of a help. Let me get rid of that one that we just took off of. We can get rid of that one, too. I don't think that one's going to be... 
Well, we need to get friends. What does friends need? He needs a necklace. Let's just throw that on friends since we may swap him out at any moment. We don't really know when he's going to become useful to us. Lechloris, sir. I would love for you to have lower cooldowns on things, but I haven't seen, like, cooldown percentage decreases on any of the gear. The ring is physical armor and HP. Not interested. Looking for anything that'll boost... his magic damage, so that's the guy right there that I'm interested in, but we are losing some regen in that case, but his cooldowns are so long that it kind of begs the question if he can get away with it. I'm willing to bet he probably can, so I'm just going to equip it. Take a look at some of these relics, because I don't think... What's his relic doing? It's got magic damage, magic armor, and regeneration. I think I'll leave that regeneration intact, even though... That would be a really good combo right there where he could do 7... He would be at 20% magic damage if I equipped that, which would be pretty stellar. Let's do it. Let's build him like a cannon, then once he's out of MP, he's worthless to us. His cooldowns are all like over 20 seconds anyways. I think he can probably... What's his regen? So 20 seconds means he's going to get like 150 back before his cooldown's ready to roll. That's riding the line a little bit, I think. But if it doesn't work in the next trash fight or two, we'll play around with other options. I like everything that he's got on him. I'll probably get rid of that ring. Wenderoo. Healing done. I saw healing done stuff in here, so let's find that. 6% healing done. And better mana regeneration. That's going to be wasted on her. Magic damage. The increase, I think, from magic damage is going to be a little bit better than what that's going to offer her with the mana regeneration. So I'm going to keep the mana regeneration stuff around just in case I don't like Lechloris' build. And her mana regeneration is so good right now that I'm not... She's always full on mana. She spends a large portion of all of our fights full up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's donate the rest of these bloobies to get ourselves a new epic. And that epic's going to be another one for the nuking caster. Seven magic damage, seven healing done. I'm going to give him that one. Because that's going to give him mana regeneration instead of the resist magic. And if I'm doing my job, he should be able to dodge it most of the time anyways. Let me see if that's better than what Nella's packing. 810. It is. She deals more mana. Okay, so we'll give that to Nella now. And then I'm pretty happy with the spacing of our gear at the moment. Anybody else need to swap something out? And I apologize if this seems kind of boring, me going through loot, but... I feel like spending time to do this now is going to save me later. I'm going to hold on to that, and then we'll just start dropping some of these into the crate. So destroying gear there. And as I said that, I didn't pan through to make sure everybody's fully equipped. I'm pretty sure everybody is. Let's look at our skill tree really quickly, make sure that nobody dinged up during that fight. Nope, we got dinged up, but we did not ding up. Now, there was nothing else this way. Let me look at my map to make sure. Dead end, as this area is known to have, or at least that we've observed it having. Lots and lots of dead ends. And we're going to continue walking down the bone-laden road, strewn with the bits and bobs of creatures that are much larger and probably more formidable than we are. The hold is less than a day's march from here. How old are you, Lechloris? Acheron was sealed off eight centuries ago. You can't be that old. I am older, and the goldmongers are older still. Well, you look great, Brother Lech. For someone your age, that is. Any tips you want to pass on? Special diet, maybe? He smells dead. I am a spirit. I have neither earthly form nor scent. I think it's the rest of us who are starting to smell. <laughs> I can't wait to get to the guild hold in a nice hot bath. I hope that is all that's waiting for us. I think we all know it's not going to be that simple, and having done field work, after a nice six days or so, the best word you can use to describe yourself is probably like Pequant, but it's bad. It's real, real bad. Oh, we're into Act 2 now, so that was the conclusion of Act 1, where we learned about the machinations of the wheel swords, we've learned about the organization, we haven't found all of our teammates yet, and I am interested. I really want that big ogre guy. I love that piece of artwork right there. It is just so badass. If he turns out to just have terrible abilities, it's going to break my heart. But 
bloody rat blood. We're here. It stinks here. Rot and forgotten graves. Behold the lands of Acheron, sealed away by the kingdoms of Arklash, so that their dark gods should not wander. <gasps> it's beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I say? Sister, without you, this world would be far more ugly. At least the lion will not follow us here. They will not? They have never struck me as cowards. They are not, but nor are they foolish. Oh, bloody fantastic. Speaks well for us then, hey? I am not foolish, but I fear neither death nor darkness, my brothers. Then perhaps here you will learn fear. <laughs> that was like the you will be moment. <laughs> I enjoy the dialogue in this game, and I was getting a little worried that they were going to... What in the hell? Oh, no, it's another one of those warriors. So we've got a black priest. Let's have a look and see what he's about. Canticle from the Beyond. After 2.5 seconds of incantation, he restores four to 500 HP to an ally and increases its armor. So we really want to go after him first, I think. Just based on that. I know what this guy can do. We've already fought with him before. Over here, we've got the Ritual of Salowell. And before... Casting Canticle from the Beyond, the Black Priest increases his armor against all damage and increases his healing. So we're probably, when he puts up Ritual of Saluel, we're probably going to have to have somebody strip it. Which in this case, I think is Mystic Predator. Yeah, so Wenderu might not be on healing duty for the duration of this fight. We may just kind of nuke and run here. Nuke and boot, I guess. I used to use a program called D-Ban that was boot and nuke to wipe out hard drives when I was working in IT. It's a great program. Morbid Distortion. After three seconds, blocks the use of control skills of the target for 15 seconds. Curse of the Black Priest. Reduces the healing received by the target by 25%. That's going to be an issue. And then Litany of the Black Priest. So those are both passives. That makes it tough, because we can't heal Naka while she's in there fighting with the Black Priest. At the same time, drawing them back and fighting the Warrior of Belial leaves us at the mercy of this character's spam ability. Now, he doesn't have much MP, and I don't know what his regeneration is going to look like, so I may actually focus on the Warrior of Belial. Let me refresh my memory as to what he does. So, he has an AoE damage attack. He has a charge. Knocks it down for 10 seconds. Terrifying. Taunt. Okay. And then Belial's Grasp, which bans the use of damage skills. Oh, and there's the charge with the long duration knockdown. Let's open up with as much damage as we can on the front end of this fight. I'm going to put Lech Loris right there. I like the positioning of Winderu right now. And what is he doing right now? Morbid Distortion. Okay. So let's get Lech Loris moving there. I wonder if he's fearable. I bet he is. Let's maybe think about fearing him around a bit. And just kind of seeing what happens. Yeah, that worked out great. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. What happened to Naka? Is she doing the same thing? Is she running away? Alright. Well then. Can't do a whole lot right now. Until that goes through. We'll get that damage off. Windaroo's ready to roll. Does he have that buff yet? No. He just has the support ability running. These guys in collusion with a bunch of the other groups are going to be really nasty in the future. There's a bit more damage. Lek Loris has found himself out of mana. The Litany of Belial is about to go off. The Black Priest is about ready to go. So let's get as much focus fire going as possible. There's probably going to be a heal that's going to get off right here. I'm going to have her use her regeneration ability. Oh, summoned up some friends to join the melee. All right. 
As soon as Nil is back up and good to go. Ew, we've got another mage. Alright, well, let me take her taunt off then. Just so we can move around a tad when the need arises. We might also consider putting Nourishing Prey on that mob, since he's probably going to go down pretty soon unless there's a priest involved in this fight. Lek Loris is getting his mana back, and as soon as he's at a decent amount of mana, we should be alright. So there goes the first bolt there. I'm going to have Naka get out of the way. Ooh, is Naka bound? I command. Oh, never mind. Naka is taunted. That's what it is. So we are actually going to have to put some focus right here. Additionally, I don't know if those will stack. Grain of Healing and the Death Wish. I'm not going to risk it. There it is. Oh, Nella's in the way too. Got her out of the way just in time. Now we're going to focus on the Black Priest for a moment. He's doing the same thing, so we're going to have to be ready to get out of the way. Can Naka move yet? Oh, Naka hadn't actually cast off her taunt, even though I clicked it, or at least I thought I did. That would be the main issue. Alright. Let's have everybody throw down on the Black Priest. And down it goes. And from there, we're all going to focus on the mage, as we always have. Making sure that he doesn't give us any trouble with his nasty little carry-through attack. Anything that passes through my characters. I don't want to deal with anything that passes through my character. I guess would be the humor that I would inject into this situation. If it passes through you, I don't want to know. And then this final archer should be a victim very, very shortly. That icon makes Astral Burn look like it's a cast that actually like deals damage or does something cool. I should reduce the magical armor of the enemies before I start doing all these crazy casts. But it costs so much mana. That 100 MP right there, if it was free and just had a long duration cooldown, I'd throw it out constantly, but that 100 MP keeps him from being able to either spam Banish Blow and then spam Death Wish right after if we wanted to get that nice little chain of explosions that seems to do so well at clearing trash. Oh, we've got another little group of these bugs. Let's quick save really quickly. And these ones are patrolling around. I am interested in figuring out... what they have going for them. So let's kind of spread out in a battle configuration right now with Lek Loris in the back. Okay. Oh, a Flesh Spectre. That could be a big, big problem. So for example, if they decide to combo on me, the charge doesn't seem to have a whole lot of counters. That's my main issue. So if he charges and then this guy decides to drop that AoE that does 80 damage a second, I'm going to catch myself in a very, very unfortunate spot. Which I think we can almost guarantee that that's what's going to happen. Oh, never mind. It didn't happen. Alright, well, we'll keep an eye on the Flesh Spectre for now. Naka, get your taunt going, and then right after, maybe deactivate it. Well, I'll give you a moment. I'll give Naka a moment to get control of everything. We'll have her do Vitae treatment right after. And let's roll on one with our DPS attacks. So there's attack number one. And there it is right there. So let's drop that and get the hell on out of there. Oh, it's a blocked category. Okay, so that means I'm probably going to have to put some unnecessary healing. Or some very, very necessary healing on Naka, I suppose. Let's throw out another bit of damage and maybe try and Death Wish if we can. I don't know if we'll pull off the timing right, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, it worked out okay. Is she still blocked? She's still blocked. She has a blockage. She needs a bit more fiber and maybe a visit. What has happened here? The warrior of Saliowell. He's back up. What has happened here? Did I miss something? Is there a res in play? Or did I not kill? Oh, maybe they got the heal off. Maybe I just wasn't paying. I thought we killed that guy already, though. Weirdly, that was the impression that I was getting. Either way, the priest's about to go out. I, I'll have to watch the replay and figure out what happened right there. It's not a big deal. We're still winning. Just outside that radius, unfortunately. But just inside the radius of nukage. 
from my estimation. Yep, there it is. So a bit more damage done. Maybe think about putting Nourishing Prey on the warrior. Oh, we've got enemies behind us. Let's get on out of the Corrupted Zone. And then I'd like everybody to focus fire right here to get that grain of healing off. Because Naka could definitely use it. And there it is. So the grain of healing is off. Let's get her up out of there. And let's make an itinerary for who we should be wiping out next. Definitely not the skeleton in armor. Probably not the flesh specter either. Let's go get the priest. Although I do need to make sure that my guys don't wander stupidly down into that AoE. There we are. And so Nella is now being focused, unfortunately. Let me drain like Loris. We'll drop a lightning bolt right there, which hopefully will catch that other skeleton in armor. Lek Loris, I want him to move around. Let's see if we can resituate that guy a tad. There it is. So now Lek Loris should be able to AoE the both of them. Very good. And down goes the priest. Everybody else focus there. Wendaru, give a little bit of love to your friend Nella. Love received. Love transmission complete. I like to keep the transmission of love all business. Gigolo style. Skeleton armor is going to go down fairly shortly, and that leaves us with our Flesh Spectery friend to deal with. Maybe moving Naka around the edges there. Naka can now taunt again, and then we'll put up Vitae treatment to cancel out the health that she's going to lose from rooting and taunting. And let's drop some more nukes. I am slowly learning the game. I know some of you guys have been frustrated with my playstyle. But I am slowly getting better, I think. It's all about target recognition, figuring out, and I'm not the quickest to adapt to things. I am definitely an old dog who has trouble learning new tricks. So it takes me a bit longer than your average gamer to figure out what the hell is going on. But I think I'm starting to adapt a little bit better as compared to some of the earlier episodes. You just kind of got to get a feel for the enemies that have to go away, like, right now. Looks like we've got another something about to happen right here. I'm going to break off the episode just to kind of waylay the chance that some major boss fight happens at the beginning or at the end of the episode that could draw me out into overtime. I'll see you guys next time and take care out there everybody. I don't bring this up very often but I did get enough emails about it with the Q&A question thread that I felt like I should bring it up. I don't like whoring like this but there is a Facebook page for Splattercat Gaming and there is a Twitter and also a Steam group. You can find those up on the channel page. So check those out. If you were one of the people that was asking if I had them, this announcement is definitely for you. The Facebook page, we just joke around and have a good time, talk about whatever. The Twitter page tends to just be updates about the videos with smart-ass little quips attached. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.